this is for you because it's there. Alright, everyone, welcome back. Uh, we're at Gap Creek again. Uh, we weren't sure if we're actually coming here today. It's actually Good Friday. Um, it's very boggy. Yeah, we've got Richo there. Got Blair over there. He's doing some recording today. We've got uh, Robbo over there. Ready to go. We're going to go and hit up BMX. So uh, we'll see you all in a second. So we're on our sight lap here. And um, the video doesn't really do it justice. Uh, basically, it is very muddy, and, but it also has a bit of tackiness to it. So you can, you know, put the throttle down a little bit, but you're still sort of sliding. And when you're landing on the down ramps and whatnot, it gets a little bit, um, you know, a bit squirrely, basically. Uh, but, you know, I think we did all right, um, you know, for these type of conditions. But, uh, yeah, definitely uh, there's a bit of a learning curve for us on that one. <laughs> Uh, see how slippery it is. No time like the present. We're now on to the VMX track, and the conditions haven't really changed much, so it's still that tacky muddiness. Uh, the VMX track actually started to develop some ruts in some unique places, uh, which you know proved a bit challenging for us, and also off the back end of a couple of jumps. So that was a bit interesting to sort of deal with. Uh, then we um, had a guy on a KTM had a pretty bad stack off the back end of this uh, tabletop that we're going up at the moment. Um, so we ended up sort of, you know, giving him a bit of a hand and whatnot, and we sort of, you know, called it at that point. Just to finish off this footage, we're now on board with Blair giving us sort of his perspective on doing these jumps and his sort of style. Um, I'll get some outside shots and we'll uh, try and get some more footage of uh, Blair and uh, as well as some of the other boys. <laughs> then decided to head up to the next level track. Uh, we're on board now with Rob. Uh, basically, Matty forgot to hit the record button on the Insta360, but on the back triple step up um, on his side lap, he decided to send it a little bit too hard, but unfortunately didn't make it up the last little hump. Nose dive and he ended up getting thrown off. Rob does something very similar, but was able to regain. <laughs> It's catching him, look. Yeah, I want to do it the whole... Actually, I might be able to. They changed the lip. That's what happened. I fucking nailed it. Third wide, man. And then as I get the kick, it fucking just went woof. Ready? I'll go, I'll go around. I'll see if I can do the whole thing. Guys, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we've just finished up lunch and uh, Matty on the KX is just having a bit of a break. So Blair's decided to take his KX450 out for a bit of a ride. Now, what I found very interesting is it's the same rider. Blair is uh, his 250YZ on the right and Matt's KX450 on the left. Now, the difference in riding style is very apparent. Um, you can see Blair's not really doing much throttle on the KX, whereas on the 250 he's going a lot faster, has a lot more momentum. Um, the jumps clearings, he's still clearing, you know, somewhat on both bikes, no worries at all. But it's definitely more of a lazier style when Blair's on the 450 compared to his 250. nearly at the uh, end of Blair's first lap and there's you know a good distance between the two bikes obviously he's not trying to race on, on both he's sort of just having a, a bit of a cruise you know just finished lunch and whatnot um, but yeah there's definitely a very big difference between the two but I just found that interesting I thought I'd show it 
Uh, let's see if we can get back to uh, some other clips. So we just finished up on the next level track and now gone over to the step up. Um, you know, it's a bit late in the afternoon, it's about 2 o'clock. Um, we're sort of going to think about calling it a bit early, just depending on how the track is. Uh, unfortunately for us, you know, it, it just wasn't, um, you know, in our favour today. So we decided, you know, before we do any more damage or hurt ourselves anymore, uh, we'll just uh, call it a day. But uh, look, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. And um, yeah, I'll leave a couple of little clips left and uh, we'll see you then.